National Geographic. This is the Red Giant. Living alone in the unexplored corners of the galaxy, this star finds itself vigorously burning through its nuclear fuel. Its fuel will power the star up to a billion years before its end. However, once this red giant burns out all of its nuclear fuel, it will spew out its remaining outer material, creating a planetary nebula and leaving only its hot core. This hot core is known as the White Dwarf. The White Dwarf is a unique star, for its future has baffled physicists and astronomers on Earth for centuries. All white dwarfs that have been observed by humanity are between 12 to 13 billion years old. They have been here since the beginning of our universe, a long time ago. These white dwarfs have sat, content in their place in the universe, burning alone for billions of years and billions of years to come. These patient stars are no rarity, however. 97% of all stars in the universe will eventually turn into white dwarfs. This white dwarf will burn at an astonishing 100,000 Kelvin. This is 17 times hotter than our own sun which burns at 5,700 Kelvin. It will not be for another billion years until this white dwarf has burned itself down to only 10,000 Kelvin. Because this star is only a hot core and doesn't have the bright outer material that regular stars possess, it burns at a low luminosity. In fact, you have to be within a few hundred light years from the star to be able to see it with the human eye. The core of this white dwarf is comparable to a diamond due to its crystalline lattice of carbon and oxygen atoms, while a diamond is crystallized carbon. The composition of this white dwarf is half as massive as our sun, and one million times more dense than water. In general, white dwarfs cannot be more than 1.4 times more massive than the sun to still be considered a white dwarf. This star cannot sustain internal pressure, so gravity compacts the star together until even the electrons inside the star are smashed together. Gravity pulls the white dwarf's atmosphere, which is either purely hydrogen or helium, or very close to the surface of the star. If this were to happen on Earth, our atmosphere would be lower than most skyscrapers. After billions of years, this white dwarf will eventually completely burn out. A white dwarf that has been burned out is known to scientists as a black dwarf. However, no black dwarfs are currently exist because our universe is not yet old enough for a white dwarf to have burned out and for this phenomenon to occur. A black dwarf emits no energy. Black dwarfs have cooled to the level of the cosmic microwave background and are therefore invisible to any human sensors. Black dwarfs, however, remain entirely hypothetical. As of now, scientists hypothesize that our universe is still too young to house any black dwarfs. An alternate path for this white dwarf is exploding into a nova. A nova occurs after the surface fusion of a white dwarf. A nova can only occur in a binary system with a white dwarf and a red giant. When the red giant becomes large enough, Hydrogen will start to stream from the red giant to the white dwarf. An outer shell of hydrogen will begin to form on the white dwarf. After a few decades, the pressure and density of the outer shell will allow fusion to begin. The shell will then explode in a burst of energy. This is a nova. Next time on Nat Geo, the disappearing pink dolphins of Hong Kong.